I'm about to show you how to add PS3 games into the RPCS3 emulator. As you can see, I already have some games installed, but I want to add another game, Killzone 3. I first need to get a copy of the game's files onto my computer. I'm going to call these files ROMs, which I know isn't really correct, but it's just an easy term to use in a video. I own the game physically, so I could dump the ROM onto my computer, but I don't have a Blu-ray drive to do that. So instead, I'm going to find it another way. YouTube prohibits me from telling you how and where to find ROMs. In fact, they removed one of my prior videos and struck me with a warning because I gave too many details. So finding a ROM is part of the process you will have to do on your own. Regardless, I have acquired one and it now sits in my downloads folder. The file has a 7z extension, which means it's a compressed file. Zip and RAR files are other types of compressed files you will encounter when you download ROMs. They all have to be uncompressed, also known as extracted, before anything else can be done with them on your computer. Before extracting, it's good to create a folder to put the uncompressed files in, which I have done so already. I have to use a program to uncompress. Two that I have installed are Breezip and Unzip. Another one that gets recommended is 7-zip. For some reason, unzip does not work for this particular file. It may be because the file size is 40 gigabytes. So I'm going to use breeze-zip by right-clicking on the file, selecting open with breeze-zip. I'll close this pop-up ad. I'll click extraction. And on this pop-up, I'm going to make sure that the ROMs folder I created earlier is the folder that's being selected. And I can do that by clicking the three dots that are right here and making sure the ROMs folder I created earlier is selected. And it is. I'm clicking extract and the extraction is in progress. It has finished. I'll go into that folder I created and make sure there's a Killzone 3 folder sitting in it. And there is. There are lots of different files within that folder, but I'm not going to do anything directly with them. What I want to do is have the Killzone 3 folder positioned on one side of the screen like this and have the RPCS3 positioned on the other side. And I'm simply going to drag and drop the folder into the game list. And just like that, Killzone 3 is installed. I can immediately boot it up by selecting the start button. These games are slow when you first boot them up and the graphics will be glitchy as well. Right here it's brought me to a glitchy screen. I'm going to go ahead and close and restart the game. And now the screen looks normal. Notice on the game list it says that this is version 1, but version 1.14 is available. It cannot be updated through the click of a button. It's a whole other process and I made a whole separate video about it. I'll put a link to it on the screen in front of you and I'll also put a link to it in the description. And that's all I had to cover today. If you got a lot out of this video, please hit that like button. Have a great day.